Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the easiest method ever to create an eyeliner in my opinion. When I was starting as a makeup artist, this was the hardest thing for me to do is to create a perfect winged liner and a lot of clients have requested that. So I've tried different techniques and a lot of different methods and I've tried to learn from people see what other people are doing and it was easy for me to create on a wing liner on myself but on others it was really really hard and then when I started to work at MAC my manager taught me this really cool technique to create a wing liner easier than what anything that I've tried before that and it was easier for me but then over time I've kind of incorporated different techniques for myself and I just found that this method that I'm showing today which was kind of an technique that I built over time and just came up with this method to create an eyeliner and this is the easiest way to create an eyeliner. If you're just starting out or you don't have a steady hand or you're not artistic enough as a lot of people say to create a winged liner this is the method for you just try to start with that. So if you find it hard or you're intimidated by using liquid liner or gel liner to create the perfect wing liner. Today I'm going to show you a technique that is incorporating only a pencil, an eye pencil and an eyeshadow to create the perfect wing liner. So if you want to learn how to create it then just keep on watching. So you want to start with a well sharpened black eye pencil. I'm using my Make It Forever um, waterproof eye pencil. It's the Aqua Eyes number OL which is the matte black. Now I'm going to start from the center of my lid going outwards but you can go all the way in. I'm just doing that because it suits my eye shape but um, you can totally take the pencil all the way in. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to create a base for the liner. I'm going to start really really close to the lash line from the middle of my lid and just drag the line outwards. And don't worry about it being messy at this point because we're going to smudge it out later. So I'm going thinner as I go in and then you can go as thick or as thin as you want. I would recommend start with a thinner line and then just make it thicker as you go if you want but um, don't start thick because if then you will decide you want a thin line it will be kind of a problem to make it thinner. So that's the line um, and even if you have like bumps or stuff just don't worry about it we're going to smudge it out later as I said and then as you go get to this outer corner. You can leave it like that if you don't want any wing but if you do want a wing uh, don't bother to even draw a wing with that just focus on this outer corner with a little bit of pencil. You can also open your eye, look straight at the mirror and go a little bit in the direction um, in which you want your wing to be just upwards a little bit just like that. Just a really really small one no matter how long and thick you want your wing to be. You're gonna see in a second what I mean. So that's basically the base. Then I'm going to take a thin small angled brush, this is the E65 by Sigma and I'm just going to go over this line and blend it out. Just smudge it, I'm going inwards a little bit and then outwards. Just drag the line and that's what's going to smooth it out and remove any bumps if you have. Just make it smoother go over this and then as you get to this outer edge you can just open your eye, look at the mirror and just drag this line outwards to create a wing and you can see that creates a really nice wing that's going thicker at the base and then thinner as you go out. You just smudge it out and it creates a really nice and soft wing. So you can go and drag it inwards outwards, just play with it, drag it out. If you want a really really sharp line you can also hold like a business card or a little piece of paper right here um, with your other hand like so and then just drag the line over it and be as messy as you want so you will have this sharp line underneath. And then when you're happy with the base that you have this is obviously not dark enough and it, we also want to set it so it will look like a really nice liner and it will hold better. So I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow, I'm going to use my Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay and take this color which is called Blackout, which is a really really dark black. And with the same brush I'm just going to take a little bit of that and go over the liner. This is going to darken it up, set it, and just make it more intense. 
and again I'm just smudging the line outwards as I go you can make it longer you can smudge it out with your finger and because it's an eyeshadow and a pencil and not like a an actual gel or liquid liner it's really easy to um, to correct it if you even mess up a little bit so this is the final result again you can go thicker inwards you can make the line thinner if you want you can go all the way into the inner corner I just like this shape it's my personal preference for my eye shape but you can totally do whatever you want with this technique I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara this is my L'Oreal Voluminous lashes original in case you were wondering now I went for the softer version of liner right here because that's my personal preference but if you want to make the line look even sharper after that or even if you used a um, card or something to put right here to make it look sharper you can uh, but you don't find it sharp enough, sharp enough you can always go over with a kind of a tissue paper or uh, like a makeup removing wipe right here to remove anything underneath the liner make it sharper and then go over with the concealer or with light eyeshadow just to make it look really really sharp right here on this outer corner So that's it, I really hope you find this tutorial helpful, make sure to leave a comment below if you do and if you have any requests for further videos to come from me and don't forget to subscribe for a new video every Friday, make sure to follow me on all the social network sites, all of the links are down below in the description bar as always and I'm going to talk to you all next Friday.